Are you trying to lose weight but need some inspiration? Are you sick of trying difficult diets and getting caught up in yo-yo dieting hell? Then stay tuned because I will be sharing some surprisingly simple healthy eating habits that research shows time and time again will help you bust that diet cycle forever. My name is Didi and I'm a registered dietitian at didetitian.com. After watching my previous video on smart goal setting, so find the video link in the description below, what goals did you set for yourself this year? Are you hoping to get more exercise this year? Are you looking to eat a little healthier, maybe shift a few pounds? In this video, we will help you find some habits that will get you closer to your goal. Research into healthy eating and exercise have given us a pretty good idea as to which habits will help us stay healthier for longer. And the great news is that these habits do not break the bank, include foods that you will find in your local grocery shop, and do not require a complete diet overhaul. The keys to getting fitter and losing weight are really not quite as glamorous as they may seem. There's no need to buy that diet tea, no need to train for the next strongman competition or detox our bodies. There's really no magic involved in getting healthier. Instead, we should focus on building healthy habits, which, yes, I know, take some effort and determination, but they pay off big time in the long run. Let's take a look at some of the simple changes that research tells us will actually help you achieve your goals. So number one, keep a food diary. How does food fit into your day? A food and exercise diary is a great way to help us identify which great habits we already have and which ones we might want to change. Try to write down all the foods you eat for three days, including a weekend day if possible, and include all food, drinks and snacks. And keep some notes on the exercise you took on these days. So did you walk to the shop? Did you do some housework, um, cleaning? Did you go to the gym, walk the dog? Studies show that keeping a food diary will not only help us identify what habits we already have, but also help us set them. And one study showed that people who keep regular food diaries are more likely to be a healthy weight. I've given you a link to a free food diary in the description box below, so feel free to print that out and use it over the next few days or weeks. Number two, eat the rainbow. Filling up your plate with veggies is a great way to get all your daily vitamins, minerals and fibre. But not only that, veggies are low in calories and fill you up quickly, making them great to snack on or to bulk up your meals with. I always recommend for my clients to fill up half their plate full of veggies um, with every meal, but then to fill up one quarter with lean protein such as chicken, turkey, lean beef, eggs, beans and tofu. To fill the remaining quarter then with whole grain carbohydrates such as brown rice, brown pasta, brown bread or potatoes with their skin on them. And try to eat the rainbow, meaning try to eat a large variety of different colours and types of vegetables, which will help you get all your important vitamins and minerals for the day. Number three, quick swaps. What better way to build a healthy habit than to build it on something you're already doing? Simply swapping something you're already eating for something a little healthier can make a big difference. Swap from full fat dairy to low fat dairy to cut some calories in your day and choose whole grains where you can, such as brown rice, brown pasta and brown bread. This will help you stay fuller for longer, therefore keeping snacking at bay and has great benefits for your gut health as well. And number four, enjoy your snacks. What, a dietitian recommending us to eat regular snacks? Yes, indeed because snacks help us keep our energy levels going throughout the day and are a great way to squeeze in those extra fruits and veggies. Now the trick is to keep your snacks to below 150 calories per snack and to not take more than two to three snacks a day. Around 150 calories of a snack would be, for example, a low fat yogurt and a piece of fruit or two rice crackers and a teaspoon of peanut butter. And if you're out and about, just read the backs of the packs and choose a snack that's less than 150 calories per portion you want to eat. Number five, plan ahead. A lot of the time, unhealthy foods sneak into our diet because we simply did not plan our meals and snacks ahead of time. Getting caught out without a healthy snack at hand means your stomach is gonna do the deli shop and not your head. So try to plan your healthy meals and snacks ahead of time and use a shopping list when going grocery shopping. I guarantee you, your head will be an awful lot better at picking healthy meals than your rumbling stomach will ever be. Number six, exercise when it suits you. Exercise does not have to mean running on a treadmill for an hour every day after work. I mean, I get it, we all are busy. We have busy lives, busy schedules, busy homes. I dare you this year to get creative with your exercise. Our goal should be to make up at least 30 minutes of exercise on five days a week. Aiming for an hour a day will even help you shift a few pounds. And any exercise that gets you breathing a little faster counts. So this could mean walking to the shop, um, walking your dog, cleaning the house, mowing the lawn. And if you have 15 minutes to spare any time of the day, 
look up some exercise videos online or take a stroll around the block. Of course, speak to your doctor before taking on any exercise at a higher intensity than you're used to. Number seven, level up your step count. Many of us have ways of counting our steps nowadays, be it on our phones, exercise bracelets, or using pedometers. And I dare you this year to level up your stepping game. So how many steps do you take on an average day? Now try to increase this number by 1000 steps every week to level up. Research shows that those of us who take 10,000 steps every day are more likely to be a healthy weight. So this year, aim for level 10 or higher to beat the sedentary blues. Number eight, mind that meal. How many of us take our meal to the couch every evening to watch TV? And is your phone taking all your attention during lunchtime? So by focusing on what we're eating and how it's making us feel, we're more likely to listen to our hunger cues and are therefore less likely to overeat. So turn off the TV, turn your phone on silent and bring that meal back to a table where you're able to focus on the meal and actually enjoy it. Number nine, are you hungry or thirsty? Again, by allowing our minds to be anywhere except focused on the meal that we're eating, we are more likely to miss important cues our bodies are trying to give us. Often people are tuned out of their hunger and thirst cues, leading for us to sometimes mistake a sense of thirst for a sense of hunger. Few of us get our recommended two liters of fluid a day and this can lead to fatigue, headaches, reduced attention, the list goes on. Now and again, when a craving for a nibble of something starts creeping in, stop yourself from going to the press. Instead, fill a glass of water and drink that first. If you still feel hungry after 15 minutes, then go ahead and have that healthy snack you prepared. But sometimes you'll find that that big glass of water actually quenched your craving. And finally, number 10, fight the fads. Fad diets may promise the world, but very rarely do they deliver on the health benefits that they advertise. You might instead just be signing yourself up for another cycle of yo-yo dieting. So the diet might go something like this. You start the fad diet and you might see some very quick results. However, soon you grow tired of your green smoothie diet and crave solid food again. So you treat yourself to some chocolate, but very soon a sense of guilt and failure starts kicking in. You then go back to your old eating habits and you regain some of the weight you've lost. So if instead you would have focused your time and energy on smaller, healthy habits, you may have, yes, seen less of a dramatic result in the short term, but you would be reaping the benefits for years to come. Which of these goals do you feel would fit into your schedule today? We have plenty to choose from and I recommend that you start small. So pick up one of these habits and once you feel that you've mastered it, perhaps then look into adopting another one. And if you're already following one or two of these habits, then leave the word habit in the comment section below. And do let me know which habits you think you will be picking up this week and let me know along the way how things are going. So if you enjoyed this video, then please share the love by liking and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to join us at our Facebook community at DDTitionRD for more information and more regular updates. Can't wait to see you again next time.